you don't really want to get too close. You'll go from being a log. Yes. Come out the other end as uh, fine white copy paper. It's also known as the tulip tree. You don't know that. Did you bring a raincoat? They are doing wonderful things with waste. And it is a town with a story to tell. This may well be the log of the future. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Going Bush, the program that takes you backstage yes. to the inner circle of Australia's forest and timber industries. It does and as ever we've got a diverse range of topics. Here's a look at what's coming up. We go behind the scenes at one of Australia's biggest paper plants and look at the results of a $600 million sustainability makeover. Examine 130 years of plantation history in South Australia's Green Triangle and discover what it takes to make the perfect power pole. But first, proof that they don't make them like they used to. We've got pop logs, we've got wood chips, dogs. What do you think of? Do you think paper? Well, Andrew, in this case, the process we're about to explore is very similar to that of paper making. But this, you won't be doodling on. This, you can build a house out of. This is very definitely a story in two parts. Most people would be familiar with the WeatherTech's product, an Australian-made 21st century building material, a hardwood fibre board that's both good to look at and as tough as nails. WeatherTech was a evolution of, of masonite. It's a, it's, a, it's a very durable product. It's not made anywhere else in the world. We haven't got any competition as a, as for, as a, as a timber product anywhere else in the world. In, in the making of WeatherTech, we take all the sugars and starch out which water likes and put wax in which water doesn't like and thereby, and, uh, thereby giving us a, a very durable product which is suitable for the external cladding of houses. And clad houses with it they do. Since the 60s, thousands upon thousands of homes have used WeatherTex to keep the elements at bay and not just here in Australia. We export to, to France, Holland, Italy, New Caledonia, Vanuatu, Indonesia, uh, Reunion Islands, New Zealand. We only have one other um, competitor in the world as, as a timber external timber cladding, um, but they, uh, they use softwoods and have to use resins and glues to keep the product together, whereas we don't have any, any chemicals in our product at all. The other thing about this product, and builders really like this, is you can use woodworking tools on it and you can cut it inside. It's not nasty. No, that's exactly right. As you can see there, you don't even need to wear uh, breathing protection because basically it's timber. It's 97% Australian hardwood. So the question is, if WeatherTex is so good, why isn't everybody making it? The answer lies here. And this is the WeatherTex factory, state of the art in 1939, and not much has changed since. Hardwood pulp logs come in at one end, WeatherTex comes out the other, but it's the bit in the middle that makes this place unique. All right, so this is the secret ingredient in the entire WeatherTex process. These are the tops of what are known as mason guns, Hardy. Very rare they are too, Dykes. Old technology, but they don't build things like they no. used to. You've got wood chips going in, steam, they get shot out through a little vent like that. It's just like the thumbs old pressure cooker. The mason gun takes its name from William Mason, the American inventor of masonite, and once almost every pulp mill in the world had them. Now, these are the only working examples left on Earth. These guns have been on site since inception, about 1939, but they were developed in the late 1800s by the original um, founder of the product. Um, and these uh, machines were put all over the world. We're the only ones left. They're, they are a pressure cooker. Uh, they are about two 44-gallon drums worth of volume, one on top of the other. You fill it up with the chip, then you have high-pressure steam which is injected into that cylinder for about a minute. At the end of that minute, you open it up to atmosphere and it explodes. It's a massively violent process that deconstructs the timber into its component parts. More modern pulping techniques are cheaper and easier, but don't do as thorough a job as the antique mason guns. That's the reason why this factory still exists, and yet younger factories making hardboard have shut down. They, they did not have this type of technology. The result is a rich brown fibre slurry free of moisture-attracting starch and sugar. 
A little wax is added and from this 73 year old factory, a 21st century building product begins to take shape. And David, here it is after the process and going in the board machine, you're left with this big lump of wet, soggy sort of board. Yeah, Andrew, well, it's as simple as making mud pies. This is our wet lap fibre that we've produced through the process. We've turned it into something that's 40 millimetres thick. It's 60% water. Yep. And now we're going to take it to the presses where we're going to squeeze all that water out and turn it into something 10 millimetres thick. And that's the final step. And that's the final step. Press it down. Off the well-worn production line, pressed and dried and ultimately onto the wall of a house here or overseas, WeatherTex is the perfect example of old world technology meeting new world demand. And in terms of new world energy innovation, WeatherTex is leading the field. Well, WeatherTex being a timber product, and timber products are the only products that can achieve this, has a better than zero carbon footprint. We generate uh, CO2 into the, into the atmosphere when we make WeatherTex, but um, there is more carbon stored in our product than, is than we generate in the manufacture of it, so it has a better than zero carbon footprint. Timber, timber-based products are the only products that can do that. WeatherTex is a hardwood fibreboard, 97% Australian hardwood, 3% paraffin wax. The antique and unique mason guns are the WeatherTex secret ingredient. WeatherTex offers a 25-year guarantee on its products and is one of the very few Australian manufacturers that can claim better than zero carbon emission footprint. Still to come on Going Bush, the South Australian search for pine perfection and next, the story of Australian paper.